App State faces UL Monroe this Saturday, and that game is available on ESPN3. And as a reminder to our members of the media at Star One to get in the queue to ask questions, uh, Coach Walbury, for that, would you mind starting us off with a opening statement? Yeah, you know, just really pleased uh, this past weekend, uh, road game, uh, first conference game, really pleased where our guys went out and played down in the Georgia Dome against Georgia State. Um, you know, really high-powered offense, and our defense played really, really well. And, um, you know, we were able to come away with a, a big win for our first conference uh, game. So we're excited about that. Now we're just looking forward to, you know, playing our second conference game down in uh, Monroe. Hey, Coach, our uh, first questions uh, actually come from uh, Monroe, Louisiana. Caller, please uh, identify yourself and uh, go ahead. Hey, Coach, this is Adam Hunsucker at the New Star here in Monroe. How are you doing? Doing good. How are you doing, Adam? Doing good. Um, well, just had a, a couple questions for you. You know, looking back to last year, you know, when, when you guys were, you know, were sitting there at 1-5 and five and things weren't good, you re- really turned that thing around. Um, you know, what what in your mind was led, led, to, led to that turnaround? Did the guys just grow up a little bit and decide this is how we have to do it? Or, you know, how were you all able to get this thing going? Well, I mean, just a, a lot of work, obviously. Uh, you know, first part of the season, just didn't catch a couple, couple of breaks, didn't go our way. And, you know, otherwise we could have won a couple of those games early. And then we just kept with the process and just kept working and, uh, you know, just started clicking for us, you know, about the middle of the season. And, um uh, Guys got a little bit better confidence. We started playing better offensively and defensively, and then, you know, we just started reeling some wins. And, um, you know, we just had a great off season. We had most of our guys back from last year's team, and, and, and it's kind of, you know, kind of just taken that from what we did last year and, and started this season like that. So, uh, you know, and just, just playing really confident football, and, and our guys are playing extremely hard. You know, looking at, looking at this year's, year's schedule, I mean, you guys have been on the road for, you know, the most – part of the get started off this season, you want to play two home yeah. games. How have, um, you know, you know, it takes a certain mentality to play well on the road. And, uh, you know, do you, do you think you guys have that? And, you know, how have you been able to develop it? Yeah, I mean, you know, we always talk about, uh, you know, we can't, things that we can't control, then we're not going to worry about them. And, you know, and, and obviously a schedule, you can't really control that. I mean, we're going to play who we play. And, you know, we have a good routine that we go through every week. And, um you know, it seems to be working for our guys, and, and our guys really – it really doesn't matter where we're playing at, what venue we're at. Our guys really have just been uh, locked in and, and really uh, have great concentration uh, of what they're trying to do and, and get, to get the job done. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate it. All right, thank you. Thank you, Adam. And uh, I believe your next question has come from uh, Steve Barrow. Uh, Steve, uh, please go ahead. Hey, Coach. How you doing today? <laughs> Good, Steve. Good. Um, just well, one thing on the Georgia game, uh, Georgia State game. Um, your, your Georgia guys played pretty well. Guys like, uh, of course, Taylor and Cox and Law and Malachi. Was there a little extra something in their eye, maybe, or in their step just before kickoff or anything like that? I know they were pretty low key at practice, but yeah, I, I don't. I mean, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think that you know they were excited to go back to Georgia, play play in front of their families and friends. They had a lot of player, a lot of people that showed up to watch them play, and so they're obviously excited about that. But those guys have been playing, you know, well for us now for you know the last several years, and um, you know it's, it's just a little something extra special, I think, when you go back and play in front of your your hometown and basically in, in front of your family, friends, high school, and, and that type of thing. They wanted to play well, and I was happy they they, they performed well. Um, coming up on. Uh, Monroe, they've um, played a couple of SEC, a couple of better SEC teams, I think Georgia and Alabama. And, yeah, their their schedule has been pretty good, so you feel their records maybe a little misleading. Absolutely, I mean, uh, you know, their their record is certainly misleading. They play Georgia, Alabama, Georgia Southern, and, and Tulsa. I mean, they're all pretty fine teams there, and uh, you know, that's that's a hard schedule and to start out with. And you know, not only does it uh, you know, kind of gets your confidence low, but it also you may get injuries and that type of thing. Just playing, you know, some of those big SEC power teams, and uh, but we got great respect, for Coach Barry and his uh, staff, and what they what they can do down down in Monroe. I mean, they're certainly a, a very capable team of winning, and um, and, and so you got to play your very best anytime you're playing those guys. Kind of um, see this maybe as a chance to really see where you are. You kind of played some teams that you've dominated, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're combined a record and not like great, and this team no, has right. played some tough teams. 
Yeah, I mean, but you know what? I mean, in college football, I, we, we throw out the records. I mean, anybody can beat anybody any given day. We, we see it. We see it every single week. You get upsets every week. Um, you know, I, I think this team is capable of, of winning the conference, uh, the Phil Monroe team. I, mean, I really do. I mean, that, it's just they, they have uh, they have a lot of talent, a lot of ability. And so you gotta you got to show up every single week, and you have to approach the game like it's obviously the biggest game of the year. And, and that's where we are, I mean. We're putting everything we got in, in this preparation for this week against Monroe, and um, you know, and hopefully we'll go in there and play well. And uh, you know, it's just a it's a challenge every single week, especially now going on the road. Um, you know, a long trip for us, and uh, so yeah, we're we're going to put everything we got into it to try to go there and get a win. Just kind of uh, give us a quick skinny on what they like to do yeah. offensively and defensively, maybe. Some well, sets or, you know. Yeah, uh, I think defensively they're a very press, a pressure team. They're gonna they're gonna load the box up a little bit like Georgia State did to us last year, last week. Uh, they're gonna play man. They're not scared to get in their face. It doesn't matter who they're playing. So they're aggressive style defense. They have five graduate students on their defense. I mean, so they're a very veteran group on defense. Um, offensively, they're you know they're playing a freshman quarterback. Um, they do like to throw the ball around a little bit, but they the last two weeks they scored points. Uh, uh, you know, put up some good points the last few weeks, so they're they're kind of hitting the groove a little bit offensively. Um, you know, so you know they're they're a good football team. I mean, again, you know, you, you know anytime you play defense like they do, they're always going to be in the football game. So, you know, a lot of them come down to uh, you know taking care of the football. The turnover margin is always huge in games like this, and um, and and, that, and then also scoring in the red zone. So that's that's some two things that we're actually looking at. Okay, thank you, coach.